What's up guys, Marks here, Everything Tenray. Today we're gonna look at my helmet setup when it comes to intercom and other options that I have to fit one Cardo Pack Talk into both my different helmets. So I have a Cardo Pack Talk bowl, which I bought just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I installed that cradle on, on my adventure helmet, the speakers and everything in it. In the helmet so this is a iro commander uh, it has a speaker cutouts in the foam or in, in the side of where your ear are but they are not deep enough for the pack talk uh, speakers so you have to trim it down with a razor uh, or a knife or something like that but everything sweet like that with the commander you even have a little connection port uh, through the helmet here where you can uh, put put your cables through so for the commander itself using the pack talk and the adhesive plate that you have uh, for the cradle it might be better to put it in the rear i did not put it in the rear i put it here on the side and afterwards i was like damn i should have put it in the rear but i'm gonna look closer at that as well and I have the regular wired microphone in front in the helmet uh, for picking up my voice or uh, yeah, chatting with friends, of course. But when it comes to a MX style or Enduro style helmet, it's pretty hard to fit the normal Cardo pack talk in it because you cannot fit the speakers. Uh, you don't have any cutouts. Of course, you could fit it if you modify it. But then again, uh, MX helmet is so much noisier than an adventure helmet. Even this commander is pretty noisy, uh, but it's okay. The Enduro helmet or my Iro Stricker or Striker, which this is, uh, is fairly noisy. And when you ride with it, of course, you need to have earplugs or your exhaust sound will drive you crazy after you know uh, an hour of riding or so so there are cardo pack talks which are a uh, dual setup so you have two pack talks uh, you can also buy a kit for a second helmet and i was looking at that and it's about 70 or 80 bucks or something like that and not too pricey right but i could not use the speakers uh, Pretty hard to use the regular microphone, the wired one. So I opted to go the cheaper uh, route and bought the adhesive plate, which you mount the cradle on and a cradle itself. So here on the helmet, I will show you close-ups later on. Uh, I put the, you know, the adhesive mount and the cradle and I use the boom mic that comes with the Carter Pack Talk and it fits in the liner here of the helmet perfectly and reach in front here and uh, of course I cannot use any speakers so I just have the 3.5 millimeter headphone plug here and one thing with these if you have normal headsets uh, which has a mic in it it will not work you will not get any sound to your headphones you need to have an adapter so you pretty much remove the the third portion of, of uh, your headset jacket you know, or jack for the mic so it will work with the with the you know a, a headset with a mic on it uh, so regular headsets they are pretty crappy when it comes to sound insulation so you would need an in-ear one with a silicone tip or a, a foam tip and they could protrude a lot uh, and you will have a big problem putting your helmet on without pulling out the airplugs. I know AJ's uh, make some uh, that you could use, but I just received this one. So this is the Shore 215 or SE 215 CEF something, uh, which is about 100 bucks. So they're a bit expensive, but they're Shore in-ear uh, headphones and it does not have a mic. So it will just plug in to my Cardo and it will work. And I will show you guys these as well. So I will just put these on, plug this in, have the wire inside my jacket uh, or 
or in my shirt or whatever and it will be soundproof these will block out everything outside like you have normal earplugs in and that's great and i can use my cargo pack talk to talk to friends listen to music take calls or whatnot so let's check it out how i did it so here we go with the with the commander and my cradle here so you could see that you have a flat spot here so it's easier to put your cradle over there uh, one of the the biggest problem is the length of the mic cable and uh, i have just it's pretty tensioned under here where i don't have any slack really uh, under here so if you push put it this far back i guess you're okay uh, but that's one thing to really you know think about when you before you put this in check your cable length so it's okay the speakers no problem and you can see maybe you can see you see the mic down there oh it's too dark anyways pretty normal procedure to install this and use this little port on the commander on the striker you can see i placed the pack talk in the rear where where i was talking about putting it on the commander this will work great if i don't crash and hit my head uh, then this will fly off but you can see that the boom mic is actually sandwiched in between the uh, the liner here on the side with the removable sheet pads and it's perfect because it's velcro and the velcro sticks to this mesh fabric here and then you have the boom mic in front there so it's solid perfect and then i will just put my uh, my shore uh, headphones there to uh, attach them or plug them in so here you can see the shore uh, headset or the in-air pieces and i have the root uh, the foam tips on it so these are like normal you know earplugs so you can squeeze them and they will expand you also get uh, two different more sizes of foam tips and you get, uh, you know, a small, medium, and large, and you get three sets of uh, silicone tips as well. So I will show you how you put these on because you put these on like this. So the cable goes over the air and then down behind the air. So they sit pretty secure. So it's, you don't pull them out. If you accidentally pull the, pull the wire or the cord, you will not pull them out from your ear and and that's you know important because otherwise you always pull out the headphones if you ha have them underneath your your helmet and these sits very snug in the air ear so nothing will be pushing on it and they're very comfortable and the audio quality or sound is uh, amazing with these so let's see how they fit me so now I put it in my right ear, so I just have one in, and you can see how flush it sits. And they're very comfortable, and the cable goes there on the back side, or the rear side of the ear, and then downwards. So they block out all the sound, so if I put both these in, and someone is talking to me, I don't hear anything. So that's perfect, out riding wind noise, turbulence. And of course the exhaust sound, which gets pretty irritating after a while. So perfect solution, which I think is just great because I don't need to buy another pack talk and I don't need to buy a second helmet kit to fit my pack talk onto both my helmets, depending on what I will use at that time when I ride. So of course you can always uh, just plug out your regular speakers in your adventure helmet and put these in instead and uh, depending on how much you cut out in in the helmet for for the speakers you will not have anything putting pressure on your ear because if you don't do the cut out in the commander helmet and put your speakers there and then try to put your helmet on they will put a lot of pressure on your ear and it's really really uncomfortable so if you cut cut out too much you can always add these uh, springy feeling uh, kind of double velcro bladders uh, which will actually be uh, you know pushing to get, uh, towards your ear and also give give way if your ear is pushing to it so it will not be too uncomfortable so 
that's it so guys that's pretty much it uh, nothing more than that i just hope that this has aided you in any decisions in buying a pack talk or headsets to wear when riding a motorbike i strongly recommend the shore uh, 215 se 215s uh, because they fit good in the air they will not be pulled out and uh, you can connect it straight to your pack talk and uh, they will block out all the sound as well so hope you enjoy this and put any questions down below and if there are anything else put any comments there and i can bring it up in another video and uh, you know email me if there's anything like and subscribe of course and stay safe take care cheerios bye bye